All right, let's do this SmackDown review. I'm going to be honest with you. It may be a little bit hard to talk right now, but thank God I go to the damn dentist tomorrow to get this damn thing taken care of. So I am going to do this best review to the best of my ability, okay? So, yeah, SmackDown tonight, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, what do we got going on tonight? Uh, basically, we kick off the show with John Cena. Um, John Cena coming out. Basically, um, you know, talked about what happened last week on SmackDown. And with him being there, basically, uh, you know, they showed a video package with Balor and Roman from last week. But Cena talked about the whole missionary position thing, which, uh, you know, uh, listen, if you know somebody you kept around for two decades in missionary position, you're doing something right. So um, a lot of missionary jokes we had on this show tonight. Uh, but Cena welcomed everybody to SmackDown, said what the hell is going on tonight. He talked about the contract signing. And, you know, Roman Reigns proves that he sucks and he's just a scared little kid. But Cena said he has no issues with rejection. He said, everybody's seen me rejected before. You've all seen it. And um, basically, he talked about Reigns because uh, Reigns talked about him, you know, um, his look and everything. He needs to get rid of it. But then he talked about, you know, what if Stone Cold Steve Austin came back as uh, Sasquatch Steve Houston or The Rock uh, finally, The Rock has come back or Dwayne Small Johnson or if you smell what the rock is cooking, or if you can hold the small Johnson in two little hands and whatnot. So um, he said, it's not those guys, uh, you know, they weren't fans to begin with. But then, you know, Roman Reigns, he talked about he has to change every two years or else people stop caring about him. And yet yeah, there's some... Mm. Damn. Hurt. Um, yes, there was some what chance and whatnot, but... Um, when you talk about Roman Reigns, if you talk about he can, if you don't believe in him, Roman Reigns doesn't care about himself then, and that Roman Reigns being lazy. He's a lazy stooge named Joe, who only coasts off every gimmick he has in the system. He's no more than a blood-sucking product machine, and so is afraid he will fail. Because Roman, mm, Roman said, if I would have you embarrassed, I would embarrass your ass at SummerSlam, and you know it. And, you know, uh, you didn't reject me because of how I look. You're afraid to fight me. It's because how I'll make you look. And then Cena dropped the mic. And of course, when in that fashion, when Cena does a serious promo, mm, we have to have some comedy right after it then. So uh, Cena... i hold on teeth like this for a second. But Cena um, basically came out. Not came out, but... Um, he actually dropped the microphone. And before he left, Baron Corbin came out saying he wanted to talk to Cena. Fans chanting, you sucker Corbin. Cena like, uh, who are you, man? Oh, he says, oh, man, you're Baron Corbin. You look horrible, dude. What happened? And uh, Corbin says, you know, um, you know, we've never been close, but I'm desperate. I'm falling apart. I've lost everything. My wife has left me. I left all of my credit sucks. Like, um, I, I'm just bills. And, you know, my wife took the kids, everything. I'm, I'm no longer to perform. He says the sensitive part in his body. And Cena's like, you mean uh, down there? You, you can't perform? Basically, a lot of dick jokes, I should say. Um, ah, a lot of dick jokes and stuff. But Cena, uh, you know, how about this, man? Here's some cash, and uh, it's all I got on me. So that help you out. You know, of course, like, that's it? That's all you can give me? You're a big Hollywood star now. How about this, man? Put me in the Suicide Squad movie, okay? Which Cena said, hey, man, we already uh, filmed that. But make sure you watch Suicide Squad next week. It's coming out next Friday. So uh, got to plug your movie out right there. But uh, Corbin says I can be a stunt double and everything. You got to get me a job, man. Come on, man. I'm a, I'm a man down in his luck. I'd be a perfect role in that movie. But Cena says, nah, man. We, we ain't got it for you. But Corbin basically says, well, you're just a Hollywood sellout then. And then uh, Cena says, I'll give you something that you truly need. An FU or what they call an attitude adjustment. But I still call it an FU. And uh, he hit Corbin with an FU then. And Cena basically took his cash and got up out of here then. So... Damn. Damn, that hurt. But, um, he took his cash and got the hell out of there. But, yeah, Cena, though, um, like I said, always did a hype of the crowd at the beginning of the show. Um, and whatnot, still taking shots at Reigns and everything. And, uh, ah. And whatnot. And, you know, Corbin, which I'll admit it was funny and stuff. So, um, like I said, I know people don't like what's, you know, Cena... He does serious promo then go. It's like the shit with uh, Matt Riddle from over a week ago. Like it's like okay, I'm gonna cut this serious ass promo, but then I gotta go goofball mode for a second too. But the crowd ate it up and everything. So I thought the segment was funny though. I would seen it, but I noticed that pattern all the time for years now. 
Uh, Dominic and Ray were talking in the back. You know, uh, Dominic says he's got Ray's back tonight. Ray told him, like, listen, man, you're making a lot of rookie mistakes, but, you know, um, and whatnot, but we need to, you need to set your game up. We're going to get the tag titles back, all right? So, uh, you know, Ray, you know, keep your eye on me and one on uh, one of the Usos, which was Ray versus uh, Jimmy Uso then. Um, basically, Ray got the win with the leverage pin, uh, well, you know, the roll-up pin, but Dominic, you know, kind of, like, held his feet on Ray to give him, you know, leverage and whatnot for the pinfall and whatnot. So, uh, Ray getting the win over Jimmy Uso right there. Uh, Bianca Belair came out. Basically, told her she's been champion for 111 days. And she hopes to be champion for the next 100 days. And, um, as, you know, Bianca was celebrating her, um, title win and whatnot. Talking about the whole, uh, defending Rolling Loud. Winning an SP Main event WrestleMania. Being back in front of the fans. She's on a roll right now. Carmella came out there. And says, congratulations on reaching 100 days and whatnot. But, um, you know, um, I bet you can't hold it for 130 days and whatnot like I did. Carmella, um, ah, basically got in the ring saying, I deserve to be champion, even though it's like you lost two times now while we do a third match. Zelina Vega, which I was kind of starting to say, I see she's kind of copying out the Black's gimmick with the eye, I'm sorry, Malachi Black, let me say that with the whole eye thing going on. But, uh, ow. Damn, this is going to be a hard review. But still trying to. Uh, I don't know. Basically, Vega, like I said, copying the gimmick, but Vega calling Carmella three time loser, which I'm sitting there wondering myself, why would Vega even try to come out for a title shot? Have you won a match ever since you came back to the WWE? So I kind of found it funny that Vega was even out there wanting to uh, accept Bianca's challenge and, you know. She should be next in line for the title. You haven't won a match yet. You lost every match ever since you got here. But next you know, Vega and Carmella attack Bianca. Sasha making her return. Big Pop came out and helped um, Bianca and then hugging her after that. As um basically they promoted the main event being a tag match later on that night. So Sasha being back in the fold of things now. Um, and whatnot. Uh, basically, we already know where this is going to go. We'll get to that near the end. Reginald talked about being the 24-7 champion, which uh, I don't know what the hell that was last Monday, but, um, you know, he's been having to watch his back everywhere he goes. And then he went against Chad Gable, which I believe Chad Gable and Otis are from here, which uh, Otis face said, it's not me, it's him. Which, you know, Reginald ended up winning, but, you know, they only got to kind of pop out there due to Chad Gable being from Minneapolis and whatnot, and same with Otis, uh, Reginald, like I said Monday, it's like, hey, the flips are cool and all that, but, dude, nobody really reacted and stuff. How far can this really go? Um, Adam Pierce and Cyan Deville, ah, we're out there for the contract signing for Finn Balor and Roman Reigns. Uh, basically, Reigns set the head of the table, of course. Uh, Reigns basically, you know, kind of smiled and whatnot. Fans start to chant Cena then, and then, um... You know, he so said, we already seen Mr. Missionary tonight, okay? And, you know, he talked about Valor saying, yeah, he was talking about you. You know that, right? Because Rain said, you know, Cena wants to say I'm ducking him by challenging Valor. And Rain said, listen, man, you signed that contract. I'm going to smash you, which I'm sure everybody's going to take that differently nowadays since, you know, smash. You all know what smash means nowadays. But, um, he said he's going to smash him and send him right back to NXT. Fans start chanting, Roman sucks. A few fans. And, um... Ow. Um, basically, Rain signed the contract. Balor says, you know, talked about Rain. You know, you think highly of yourself. And Rash justifiably so. But um, it'll be a privilege to return to NXT with the Universal title. But before I believe Balor did sign it, it looked like Corbin ended up attacking him, throwing ringside. He was about to sign the contract. But then John Cena came out. He knocked Corbin out of the ring. He picked up the contract. He looked at it. And then he signed his name in big words and whatnot. To prove that he signed, you know, the contract as Reigns and Heyman looked pissed off sitting there. So, um, yeah, Cena, uh, yeah, well, we knew this was going to happen at some point in time. Like, uh, we all know it's not going to be Balor and Reigns at SummerSlam unless it was going to be a triple threat match with Balor would have took the pinfall anyways. But, um, yeah, Cena, though, ah, Cena signed the contract, which Heyman even got pissed off saying, like, Balor signed it right here. So, uh, you guys are going to let this happen and everything? And, um, but, you know, Pierce and I'm like, well, it's seen a signature, so, yeah. So, basically, yeah, all you gotta do is just run out and uh, interrupt the contract signing and just sign it and you're in the title match. Even though you're not scared.
Even though you're in that schedule for a contract signing, you can come out there and still get a title shot one way or another. Okay? By just attacking your opponent, I don't know if we've been fatal four way, but attack your opponent and uh, you get a title shot. Well, yeah, Cena versus Reigns at SummerSlam, as we all saw coming. Um, six man tag was next. The match we should have saw last week, well, Cleveland got to see it last week, but since we all had to watch the Rolling Loud segment last week, we got to see Vic E. Cesaro and Nakamura versus Ziggler, Rude, and Apollo Crews. Nakamura over his hell and everything. I still think that's great. Um, Big E and all of them got the win. Nakamura, Kinshasa. So, yeah, at least we got to see the six man, which we should have saw last week on TV. Edge was coming out doing his entrance for during commercial. He got attacked by Seth Rollins and was taken out with a camera and everything. Um, Rollins is back in. Fans started to chant, we want Becky at Rollins and uh, talked about, um, you know, if I can't have my shot at the Universal title, then neither can Edge. And then Rollins head to the back with his very loud suit. In the main event, though, we have Bianca and Sasha versus uh, Vega and Carmella. Of course, Bianca and Sasha won, and then as I celebrated, of course, uh, Sasha was going to come on. Who didn't see this coming, right? Let's say would have waited another week. But yeah, Sasha attacked um, Bianca and put in the bank statement saying, uh, I'm the champ. I'm the champ. So, come on. We all knew the rematch was coming, and it's going to be at SummerSlam. So yeah, Sasha versus Bianca at SummerSlam, the rematch from WrestleMania. We all knew this was coming, okay? We only got three weeks of SummerSlam anyway, so yeah, uh, that's how that's going to go. But, um, other than that, I know this review is SmackDown. I am sorry I'm doing a review like this with my teeth and whatnot. But I'm having dental problems right now. And I'm going to get to that shit taken care of tomorrow, okay? So, I'm out of here. I will be back, hopefully. You know, I'm going to save the Impact review until I get my teeth fixed. Because I don't need to have this many problems while talking, okay? So, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Hoodie9890.